The tale I am about to tell concerns certain creatures that were used as runic weapons. These beings were not of our world, but their bodies were replete with the rune magic that built it. It is for this reason that they came, at the hand of mankind, to be used as weapons. The horrible power of these weapons struck terror throughout the land. But finally, some rose up to strike down this evil. My tale begins some seven years before the island nations and the Kuluk Empire went to war, with a minor incident in the back alley of a harbor town. I like this place better in the daytime. You scared? No way. Don't be silly. Well, let's get this furball patrol started. I want to try out this new sword father gave me. Couldn't we do this tomorrow? No! I want to try it out right away. Okay. Come on, let's go. Don't worry. We can take care of those furballs and be back in no time. All right. Well, let's not stay out too late. are tougher than I thought. A lot tougher. But as long as I have this sword, we can cut our way through. What? 
Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding. You look more tired than I do. Let's call it a night. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck was that? What should we do? Follow it? Or maybe we should... This way! <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, you're human. You sure gave me a shock. Human? Um, never mind. My mistake. Oh, I'm sorry. My name's Snow Vingerhut. Walter's the name. We're travelers. This is my son, Kirill. Our group means you no harm. Nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Andark. And I'm Seneca. Hello. Uh, is... Well... Oh, she's my partner. Don't worry about her. I've got a question, Snow. Yes? Just before, you said you're human, right? Huh? Yeah, but... Why was that surprising to you? Did you see something? Oh, that... Um... Yeah, we saw it. Will you tell me exactly what you saw? Right. Um, a weird creature, about the size of a man, came rushing up this road. I see. And then it ran off that way, hmm? Yup, straight down that way. But it couldn't have gotten very far. There's a dead end up ahead. I see. Thank you for the information. Well, we're going after it. You two had better head on home. This is dangerous work. But we can help you. I know the streets here. Huh? You're up for it, right? Snow, this isn't a game. Maybe we should listen to him. Come on, don't chicken out. We'll be fine. All right, but stay close. We don't have much time. Ready? Yeah, let's go. If this thing doesn't kill us, your father will. Relax. He gave me the sword to use, right? Stick with me and you'll be fine. If something comes after you, whack it with that stick of yours. Walter and I will take care of the rest, okay? I'll try. Okay then, let's get going.
Sword arm. Oh, uh, not bad, I guess. Thanks. an interesting dual weapon technique you have there. Nicely done. Oh, my God. 
Quiet for a minute. Sorry. Who did this to you? And where? On the ship. Pirate. A pirate? Which pirate? Give me a name! I need a name! Damn. Uh, is it dead? Yes. Look at it. So thin you can see the ribs. Probably couldn't even get a scrap of food in this state. Oh. Well then. The least we can do is give it a decent burial somewhere. Things like this are best done at night. You boys really should go on home now. It's very late. Okay. Let's go. Good night. Good night. Did any of you catch the pirate's name? Nope. Me neither. Sorry. What about Jan?
I see. Thank you, Jan. A little food and some water. That's all this poor creature wanted. Seems he never even knew the pirate's name. Hmm. We've been wasting our damn time. Still, it's not like anyone else has figured out the connection with the rune cannons. That may be true, but we can't afford to take it easy. You're right. So what's next, Walter? Go buy some food and drinks. It won't be much, but let's pay what respects we can to this poor soul. Yes, sir. Well, we've got another long journey ahead of us tomorrow. I'll go find us somewhere to stay. Let's get at least a little rest tonight. All right. to square one. Now, now, don't worry. We'll get to the bottom of this sooner or later. Yes.
welcome! is selling rune cannons, hmm? Maybe we can learn something from him. Let's head over there as soon as possible. Yes, sir. I'll start packing immediately. Seek an audience with Lord Reinbach. Is he in? I'm afraid he's a rather busy man. I'm his liaison. Would you care to state your business to me instead? I don't care who I talk to as long as you listen to what I have to say. And what might that be? Actually, I was hoping to ask a question about rune cannons. What exactly are you sniffing around here for? You don't appear to even have a ship. What possible use could a rune cannon be to you? There are rumors that rune cannons have some sort of effect on the human body. I know nothing at all about that. And I'm afraid that concludes our conversation. Good day. Wait. Who makes these rune cannons? Please, I must know. I said good day. What about the pirate Steel? Is he involved in this? I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Sir, maybe we should back off for now. You know more than you're letting on. I can see it in your eyes. Fine. If that's the way it's gonna be, we'll find the answers for ourselves. As you please. We'll be on our way then. All 
Holy God, then? Yes, my lord. Remember their faces carefully. Yes, my lord. I have. Good. They have all the looks of a self-righteous band of heroes. They'll have to be silenced. Wait until they're well out to sea and deal with them in the usual manner. The cargo is yours. I understand, my lord. So, I guess the direct approach didn't work. There's got to be another way we can get to steel. If only we could... Hey! Why are you standing around like a bunch of land lovers? Can we help you? Ah, uh, sorry. Couldn't help but over here. So, you guys want to meet Steel, huh? Are you saying you know him? Well, of course I do! I mean, there's not a seaman alive who doesn't know of Steel. He's famous! Or should I say, infamous? Then could you introduce us to him? You bet! Hey, you're talking to Hervey the Furious here! The most dashing pirate on the high seas! Huh? What's wrong? Too thrilled to speak? Sorry, pal, but I've never heard that name before. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Guess I still have a ways to go. I hope I haven't offended you. Eh, forget about it. Now, about Steel. Wanna make a date with the devil? What's in it for you, Mr. Furious? Hodge? Eh, you got me. Something wrong with that? Besides, I'm your only option. Why is that? He's already deep-sixed boatloads of people. Even old sea dogs get all knock-kneed at his name. But I figure somebody needs to do something about him sooner or later. And who better than yours truly? So I'm saying, if you got the money, I've got the time. Capiche? What? <laughs> I'll bet you guys can really tear it up. Just from the looks of you. Oh, so you want us to fight your battles for you. <laughs> with me, buddy. With me. So, what do you say? Hmm. Seems like our only choice at the moment. Lead the way. All right. Now you're talking.
It's that snake Sigurd. Just what we need right now. Oh. What's wrong? It's Lord Reinbach's fleet. They're even worse than us pirates. And a petty Aaron turns into a chance to sink Hervey once and for all. Time to settle the score. It's that jerk from before. Which means they must be after us. Makes no difference to me either way. I've never been one to turn down a good fight. Well, grab hold of something. This ship's about to rock!
Hey, pretty boy. Looks like you've lost your edge. <sighs> Talk is cheap when you've got that much backup. Come on, Hervey. You and I, one on one. I'll send your corpse to the bottom of the sea. Sorry, this won't take long. That lousy son of a... I think he's forgotten just who's paying him. <gasps> what is it? belongs to! <laughs> Sir, we have to hide somewhere. Is that steel? And... That's it. We've got to take cover! Hey! Father, look! What the hell? Enough mischief from you, Steel. If you don't surrender, the next one will open a hole in your guts, old man. So, what do you say? Edgar, you curse wretch! Listen up! I swear the next day we meet will be your last day alive! Better order your tombstone! <laughs> that old dog needs to be sent to a cold, watery grave. Yeah, time to end this once and for all. I'm going. Don't worry. Edgar, that's all you ever say. 
But I always come back to you. Edgar, this pirate has made quite a name for himself. Let's proceed with caution. All right, Brando. <laughs> you serious? No, it'd be certain death. No one will blame you for backing out now. Why don't you just go doze off like those other two over there? If we're risking our lives, so be it. Please, let us join your fight against Steel. I beg you. Well? Gah. Suit yourself. Thank you. We won't let you down. <sighs> Fools. All of them. Well? I'm going to go with them. I'm going along as well. Me too. Seneca, I need you to stay here. What? I want you to wait here with Kirill. In case we don't return, I trust your judgment. The only thing I ask is that you watch over Kirill. But father... Kirill, promise me, if we don't come back, you must pursue the rune cannons in my stead. I... I promise. They're gaining ground by the minute. Let's go. Please, be careful. Don't worry. We'll be back. Carol! Carol, where are you? Everyone ready? <laughs> I hope those scum brought their own coffins. Device. Father, be careful! Kirill! Yes? I told you to wait for me! What are you doing here? I I'm sorry. Are you sure you're prepared for this? Yes. Okay, then. But keep to the back of the ship. Yes, sir.
here for a moment. If we could get our hands on that device. Um, Father? Ah, what's he up to? Does he think we can't see him from here? Well then, he'll be our bait for today. Watch and weep, boys! What's that fool up to now? Father! Ah! Father, no! Walter! No, it's too dangerous! Son? This is too good to be true! <laughs> Father, it's me, Carol! <laughs> Father! Look out! <laughs> Oh no, Walter. Peck, 
We need to hit Steel head on. We'll keep him occupied while you do something about that device. Got it? Yes, sir, Mr. Brando, sir. I'm counting on you, Peck. Don't let me down.
This worthless contraption! Looking for a fight? Playtime is over. Something's happening. Run! So long! should uh, happen to me. Uh, uh. Edgar! Damn it! We can't just die here! Uh, what? That light! I... I... 
Mr. Brando! Please! Peck, do you want to come with me? I can't ever return to that island. But if you travel with me, this rune might devour you as well. I don't want to drag you down. I'll go! I'll go with you, Mr. Brando! Are you absolutely sure? I'll follow wherever you lead, Mr. Brando! All right, then. So be it. Let's go. Yes, sir! Your wish is my command! Hero. Thank you for your help, Yon. Carol, are you okay? He must be freezing. We'll get you back to the ship soon. Hang in there. Walter, give me the strength to go on. If I lose Kirill too, I... What's that, Mr. Brando? Good. Let's go. Are you sure about this? Shouldn't we at least see Lady Kika before we go? No. I don't have the right to. What could I say? But that's... Forgiveness. Salvation. I am beyond these things now. All I have is this curse. We must leave. Now. Yes, sir. Kika! This is Edgar's... <gasps> right? Shut your trap, numbskull! Think about how she must feel right now, and keep quiet! Edgar... You did come back to me. Edgar... Don't ever leave me again. Lady Kika. Oh, Edgar. Edgar. Kirill's injuries were worse than we thought, and he needed much time to recover. It has been three years now since Walter's death. A great war raged between the island nations and the Kuluk Empire, all because of the accursed rune of punishment. Then, thanks to a heroic young leader, the island nations banded together to take the Kuluk Empire head-on. They destroyed Fort El Il, the Kuluk Empire's southernmost base, and a temporary truce was reached. Which 
you riding, huh? What? Come on, no need to hide it, is there? Oh, I bet there's something juicy in there, huh? Juicy? Don't be ridiculous. It's just a journal. Oh, really? I'm serious. No peeking. Sure is a strange one. Hmm? I mean, she's been watching over Kira like that for how many years now? I wonder if that was Walter's dying wish. I suppose in her own way, Jan understands who the leader of this group is. Hmm, good point. Well, thanks to her, Kira's looking a lot better lately. I think it's about time we set out again. Actually, I've been thinking the same thing. We should probably find some work soon. It might take our minds off what happened. Yeah, good idea. Walter may be gone, but I'll make sure Kirill doesn't suffer the same fate. I made a promise. Well, don't take all the credit. I'm coming along too, you know. After all, I need to keep my eye on you. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Just kidding, silly. Oh, okay. Sometimes you can just be so clueless. Hey, and don't go writing anything weird in that journal of yours. Of course I won't. <laughs> <laughs>